all right people this is a very quick video explaining xrp and DeFi in the same sentence uh maybe some of you know i am in xrp since 2016 this is my biggest investment um it's just not about that right now but flare network just launched and f assets are now live so you are able to mint flare xrp that is one-to-one -one backed to the actual xrp and use the f xrp across DeFi. this is day one this is just getting started i'm not gonna go into the technical stuff i just want to show you how to actually mint the f assets using your native xrp so first of all you will have you will need to have a wallet and the wallet that you have to use is by frost by frost wallet at least i'm using this one and there is no uh, browser extension for this one you have to have it on your phone um, as an app it's just a simple uh just a simple just just a wallet a bifrost wallet and then you need to have flare chain and xrp and it's going to be native and you must have some flare tokens on your wallet for gas fees because this is a completely separate blockchain so to speak so just like you have for example solana and you have to have some sol to pay for the gas fees for transactions this is the same thing you must have some flare to pay for the uh, transaction fees when navigating in between DeFi on Flare. So step one is to have a Bifrost wallet. Step two is to get some Flare from centralized exchange. Uh, I use Maxi. From Maxi, you buy some Flare and withdraw to the wallet and you will have uh, simply some Flare wallet, uh, some Flare in your wallet. And then you also wanna have to deposit some of the native XRP and because my XRPs are stored externally in hardware wallets across, it's just completely, it's like, it's like the central bank safety. <laughs> so I had to send some of the XRP and I just uh, been playing around uh, very slowly. I'm not pushing this. So I just send a 100 XRP, which is about 300 bucks more or less. At the current price and basically you want to send some xrp to your bifrost wallet as well and you will have it like that simply simply just xrp there is no uh, tag when sending xrp to bifrost wallet so you just have a wallet address because in most um, exchanges and wallets you have to have both um, wallet address and a tag when sending xrp but in this case uh, you don't need to do that it's just a native wallet just like you have on a ledger etc right so basically these are the two core steps get the wallet get some flare in wallet and get some xrp deposited into the bifrost wallet and then you're able to start um, minting so the next step is to go to fassets.au.cc this is the f assets by flare uh, the official page the only official page for minting these assets so i will leave this below the video and basically um, then you want to connect your wallet like that and when connecting let me actually disconnect right now so you want to click on connect wallet you want to choose wallet connect and then using your bifrost wallet you want to click on you want to click on the mid button and select connect using wallet connect the last button and then it, it will ask you to scan the qr code so by clicking connect and uh, connecting the wallet it will automatically connect and then what you want to do is go to the mint mint page right here and you will have some xrps on your xrp address you must have some flare on your flare wallet and then you will have f assets and i just minted 50 um, xrps on 
the F assets. So what you want to do is click on mint and then I want to mint, let it load. I want to mint uh, four lots, one, and, and this is a bit of a different thing. Um, on Flare Network, uh, minting happens in lots, meaning that you are essentially minting a lot. So one lot is 10 XRP. This is a very important thing. So now uh, if I am minting four lots, essentially I am minting 40 XRP units. So in this case, I will be sending 40 XRPs. These are the fees and I will get in my wallet the same equivalent, of course, uh, but it's just for minting process, it's in lots. So then you wanna click on next. And now you wanna open up your Bifrost wallet and you will have to confirm the, the transaction, first one, and then second one as well. And it's all gonna be automatically, just, just open the wallet, it's gonna load, click on confirm, send it, and that's it. And now you, uh, all you have to do when you see this window is wait. Wait for a few minutes. Step one is going to be completed very soon. And then step two is going to be completed in about three to four minutes. And you will have your um, F assets in your wallet as well. So essentially you will have uh, the same amount of XRP that you had in your native wallet, but it's going to be minted on the Flare network, right? So. It, the core difference and why it's such a big thing because this is decentralized minting. This is not some sort of a centralized entity. Like for example, you have Coinbase wrapped XRP, CB XRP that you can use in base DeFi as well. But all of those XRPs that are CB XRP backed are backed by Coinbase, which is a centralized um, entity. And on Flare Network, you're minting, you are minting F XRP with your native XRPs on a decentralized matter, manner, sorry, meaning that you can also redeem it at any time. You can redeem your F XRP back to XRP uh, natively without any centralized um, entities in control of these um, steps. And this is just the very, very beginning and it's been in development for many years. And finally, uh, today is the day when F assets are live. So uh, this is just a very big start for the DeFi opportunities on Flare, on XRP, more and more XRPL ledger itself is also uh, transitioning towards the next generation of DeFi. And even though this is a pretty separate from the XRP itself, XRP and RLUSD, it's a separate thing and I'm not going to go deep into the whole XRP and financial shift um, elements but for a DeFi perspective this will bring incredible amounts of opportunities to generate cash flow to get yield and most importantly those that owned um, XRP for many many years just like I did um, I'm now able easily as you can see, step one is now completed. Step two is now those uh, 40 um, FX or P are on their way to me. So it's gonna be in my wallet in just a few minutes. So just to finish the thought that for example, um, now I have full, full access to minting my XRPs to FX or P, lending and borrowing against it, which is incredible thing because before any kind of borrowing against XRP used to be on a, on a centralized matter, on a centralized exchange, Nexo, Bybit loans, all of that stuff, right? You leave XRP as collateral, but now you can participate in this whole ecosystem. And also, they also have the first DEXs being built on Flare with liquidity pools, FXRP versus USDT. Next stage is gonna be F um, XRP, RLUSD, you can set the range, you can do all of these things. And this is just the very beginning. It's like a DeFi born again on a brand new asset that's been here for so many years. And it's evolved into finally being able to use DeFi. So I remember when I was so excited when the whole Uniswap 
uh, version two or three, I believe, pools launched with the concentrated liquidity pools. This happened, I can't remember, back in 2020 maybe, around 2020 or 2021 maybe. Um, and that was such an incredible uh, thing that it's just like a new thing, right? Everyone is excited. So this is the same thing for me um, because I'm a very big investor in XRP, believer um, as well, but not from hoping, but from logic. For, I did a lot of different meetings with Asian, uh, with top investment managers in Asia. And it's just a very big thing for me personally and um, for the financial system moving forward. So what XRP is doing is one thing, but this XRPL, which is the XRP ledger, so to speak, that's it, it's finished. Um, I, uh, I now have 90 F XRPs and I pretty much can use them across DeFi uh, from now on. But I'm not gonna show this on this video. It, this video is just to quickly show you how to mint F assets. Okay, so how to set up the wallet and how to mint your assets. And moving forward, I will show you the rest of the things that you can do. Lending and borrowing, um, deploying into the pools. Um, and I will be covering this ecosystem very closely because this is uh, very advanced uh, in comparison to just a simple DeFi LP. But at the same time, it's, it's incredible what this team managed to develop and launch. So yeah, that's it from me on this video. Hopefully it's been beneficial and just know that you are so extremely early by being on the Flare network and this whole DeFi ecosystem being built freshly on the XRP and Flare uh, chains. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully it's all clear. If you have any questions regarding specifically this or any DeFi stuff, of course, you can message me privately on a DeFi house. Just click on me and send me a message. Uh, so once again, thank you and I will see you on the next video.